Okay, guys, so I'm back in Azure and I'll go to Home, Virtual Machines, and my Server 1 is ready. So I will go to Server 1. I'll down say connect RDP. This is the public IP. And connect. Okay, if it's taking time, then it means I may need to create, yeah, as I suspected. Right, so add inbound, source any destination, any port 3389. TCP allow and say allow RDP 3389. So I'm adding this rule in this NSG for this interface. It's there. So I'm just a bit lazy. Instead of going to download folders and getting that file again, I'll just re download this RDB file, run again, and yep, now it's prompting me for username and password to remember me. Oops. What? What was the password did I type, by the way? Hmm. Imagine I forgot the password. Oh, uh, looks like I got it. Okay. So I log in as a local admin. In Azure. And this is the server, and server manager will launch shortly. Let's do one thing before we do anything else. Let's add remote administration to for remote administration of Active Directory. Yeah, one more thing, just to confirm. Remember we changed DNS for that virtual network? So if I say IP config slash all, I should be able to see DNS servers, which is 10.01.4 and 10.01.5. Means it's pointing to domain controller slash DNS servers. So lovely. So I go next role and so features. I go to remote server administrative tools, role based, and I choose all AD related tools. Install and installing AD tools. It, it's not. 20 minutes yet or 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes yet but mm, yeah while when it will finish installing this tool we will try adding this server to active directory domain services okay. so meanwhile if you can see or as you can see 
it's a part of work group okay and installation succeeded perfect let's try I hope I it works we don't need to wait a little bit longer itsense.net and it will prompt for a user account with the permission so ad admin itsense.net and again okay i think i'm confused i hope it's the right password yes welcome so give it a reboot and it's restarting so while it's restarting I will pause the video and it will be back and I will show you how to connect to Azure Active Directory domain services okay <laughs> 